Hey, it's me, and today we're going to be talking about Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time and my thoughts. That's hopefully more than four minutes, like the last video. Uh, oh no, under four minutes. That, that won't be under four minutes like the last video that I did a while back. Um, now that NSA Trilogy, not NSA Trilogy, what the hell. Now that Crash Bandicoot 4 is out, and it's not really too hot anymore as much as it used to be during its launch title, I mean launch day or whatever. I felt it. I felt as though it would be appropriate to finally like do a video discussing my actual thoughts on the game because I do like Crash Bandicoot 4. I think it's a good game. I think it's a solid Crash Bandicoot title. Is it one of my favorites? Probably not. Um, but I have my reason or reasons as to why. Um, I'm a little conflicted with this game. I don't have a love hate relationship with it, but I do feel like that it fumbled the bag a few times, uh, just in terms of like how things were executed in the game. Uh, I think the voice acting is great. I think the music is solid even though not too many tracks are memorable to me personally I still do think that the soundtrack is good. I think that the presentation is amazing I can see why anybody would think that Crash Bandicoot 4 is one of the best if not the best Crash Bandicoot game I wouldn't argue that it's one of the best games, but I wouldn't say personally that it's the best especially since like it's not really a favorite either uh, well, I mean, you can have a favorite, but still think that it's objectively not the best or whatever. So I digress on that uh, statement. But I do feel like that if Dr. Entropy was the true final boss of this game and it wasn't Dr. Neo Cortex, this game could have been in my top five like favorite Crash games easily. Uh, maybe even top three. And I say that because Entropy and Tawna Bandicoot, they play such a huge role in this game. Especially Dr. Entropy because he was introduced and warped. As I mentioned in my last Crash 4 video, you know, talking about, you know, my thoughts on it in under four minutes. This video is hopefully going to be longer than four minutes. But yeah, back, back to Dr. Entropy. I honestly feel like that if Dr. Entropy was the final boss, the true final boss, and it wasn't Cortex, and we got to play as Tawna in another timeline, her timeline, where Coco here and Crash... You know died in her timeline that would have that would have definitely made the game better in my opinion and i say that because when we're told when it's revealed when it's you know shown off and or when it's uh said that crash and coco you know died in tawana's timeline it didn't really hit me as much because obviously as the years went by the more we played the crash games the more we've known these established characters in the franchise we were always attached to them but you know, knowing that they died in another dimension without actually seeing it, I don't know, it just kind of feels, I don't know, it, it just feels a little forced in a way. Like, I feel like if there was at least some visuals to show exactly how they died or at least show Tuana's face, but like, show the, the shadows or bits of the body of Crash and Coco like laying down or something because they're dead or something, I think that would have been more impactful. I get it, Crash Bandicoot is a kid's game for the most part, but if we're talking like a game that was pushed and you know uh told to us as a very narrative heavy narrative driven game i feel like that would have been perfect for this game it would have been the first actual like dark turn for the for the crash bandicoot series that it wasn't uh sort of twin sanity or even whatchamacallit um crash landed even though that was canceled that game had sort of a dark survival-esque uh vibe to it but that's just the survival-esque part is just a part of the gameplay aspect but that's a different game uh crash for uh, I like playing as Dingle Dial. Cortex was a bit weak, but he was still sort of fun. Um, but I mainly just, you know, I, I mainly enjoy playing the game as the Bandicoots. Though Dingle Dial was fun, admittedly, I will say that. Um, none of the characters felt like, none of the other characters aside from Crash and Coco, you know, felt bad to play as. That was one of my biggest fears is that the more characters that they, like, made playable, the more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The more people would feel you know, forced to, to just get it out the way. You know what I mean? I didn't feel that way when it came to playing those these uh characters, these other characters that were not crashing Coco. Also, I'm flopping on this stage, my bad. But it's okay, we still got the gym. But yeah, um no, I like I like Crash for it. I think it's a great game. I just wish that, you know, they had a legacy of Goku two type thing going on where you don't play in the present timeline as kid go on and then trunks and you know, Vegeta and all that with Androids 19 and Dr. Jero. I wish that they made us play as Tuana in the alternate dimension. And we got to get to the part in the beginning half of the game. The big uh, little portion of the game to where we meet up with Dr. Entropy or Entropies, I guess. Um, and, you know, team up with Crash and Coco. And unfortunately, 
you know, Tawna gets a good blow in or whatever, but then unfortunately she she I don't know, she wasn't paying attention and then Crash and Coco unfortunately lose their lives to the Dr. Entropy uh duo. So, you know, I wish they at least shown that. I wish we got to experience that. I wish it wasn't just told to us, you know, that they died without us actually getting any type of experience, you know, regarding that incident. You know, I think it would have been better. I, I honestly think it would have been better if they did something like that, but Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and that's why I feel like Crash 4 kind of falls short in terms of narrative um, purposes, like the, the narrative. I feel like the narrative aspect of Crash 4 uh, was, wasn't wasn't um, too great, but wasn't awful either. Because the game does what it does right, you know, it pushes the narrative. There is story in this game, but I feel like if the game ended with Dr. Entropy instead of Dr. Neocortex yet again, which which was funny and interesting, I won't lie, it's not bad, but this it would have been a much more solid game in my opinion if, you know, we got to play as Tawna in another dimension, saw Crash and Coco die, so then when it's told to us, we're not actually like, you know, we, we actually already know how it happened, we're already well aware of what was established in Tawna's timeline, I think that would have been cool if we got to see and or experience that. Um, Speaking of which, we're going to be playing as her right now. Um, I think that's really it. I think that's honestly all I have to say. I'm just recording gameplay on the side before I stream tonight. Um, which is Sunday, but this video will most likely be out Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, yo. Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Shit, shit, I'm coming too. Right in my pajamas. It's like, no, let me stop tripping, bro. I'm joking. I'm joking. Relax. Anyways, um, yeah, y'all. This was, this was a fun video to do. I just... But as though it was, it'd be nice for people to get my full thoughts on Crash Bandicoot 4. Because I know there's people out there waiting for it. They don't want no short video. Uh, but really, I just feel like Tana was the main focus of the game. But she was underutilized, in my opinion. That's my main, that's my main thing with this game. That's the main thing that I was, uh, that's my main critique of the game. I feel like Tana was underutilized. You know, especially since she's reestablished in the series. And, you know, actually has a different role in the Crash Bandicoot universe. Instead of being a damsel in distress. I felt like they, they definitely could have done more with her a little bit. We could have played her played as her in the beginning. And, you know, it, it just it would have been cool to actually see how things went down in her timeline with uh, Crash and uh, Coco and everything like that. So, yeah, um, those are my thoughts. This video is almost eight minutes long at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys be easy. Um, I did forget about Crash Bandicoot or anything like that. I still like the franchise. I still care for it It's just not something I'm investing all of my time into you know what I mean? But I still I still mess with Crash Bandicoot and everything So I just want to make that a hundred percent clear here in case people were uh, wondering or had any assumptions And whatnot. So yeah, uh, you guys take it easy and I will catch you guys in the next video And I'm gonna enjoy playing the rest of this and everything like that and uh, yeah Peace